Well, welcome back. So, yeah, sedimentary rocks, they may not be much to look at, but they, they can tell one heck of a good story. Not only um, how uh, they formed, whether what the climate was, but also different structures in there to also help us infer some of those things. So hooray for sedimentary rocks, I guess. Again, I've said it, they might not be much to look at, but they do the best job of telling the story of the environment they formed in, including what organisms lived there. Lived there. So they're a great um, record keeper of the geologic past. Most fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. That's kind of your thing. So most fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. Um, oftentimes as organisms died, they're covered with sediment. And over time, as that sediment turns to sedimentary rock, it preserves somehow, some way, a fossil of that material. A fossil can be the actual material itself or just an imprint of the material that's decayed away. There's many types of fossils. Um, they also form distinctive structures that help a, ge a geologist create, recreate the past, the past climate, what an area was like. And, and some of those structures include ripple marks, mud cracks, tracks, cross bedding, graded bedding. We'll go through all. So ripple marks uh, are forming shallow water environments, typically near lakeshore or stream edge. The present is the key to the past. So a ripple mark, if I were to look at a rock structure, what I would see now is something along these lines, these different ripple marks. Okay, well, that's what I see in the present. What did that tell me about the past when the sediment was deposited? Well, again, it looks something like this. We see these at the edges of streams, uh, right at the shores of lakes. Not necessarily oceans, but lakes because they're a little bit more calm. So that means where this formed was at the edge of some sort of stream or, or, or lake or really shallow ocean environment. The present tells us about the past. Before we move on, let me give you part of the super secret code. It is the number seven. Mud cracks. Mud cracks form in moist areas that dries up very quickly, like in desert climates, washes, playas, you know, any, any place where water will evaporate very quickly, typically in hot, dry environments. So this is what I would see now. This is a sedimentary structure. So this is lithified. But what does that tell me about the past? Well, it looked like this. These are mud cracks. The way it forms is sediment that gets wet will kind of expand a little bit when it dries out real quickly like in a desert environment when the sun hits it that material shrinks and breaks forming these mud cracks so what what happens then it gets filled in with sediment it lithifies turns to this over millions of years so again the present these mud cracks indicates the past so this area was probably some desert area that every once in a while got wet present tells us about the past. What about tracks, footprints? You know, they typically form in muddy areas, stream edges, lake shores, or places where there was a lot of rain. So if I see this now, which these are some dinosaur tracks, also in here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's also ripple marks. So there's like a two for one here. But focusing on tracks, where could a dinosaur walk to leave tracks like this? Well, in the mud somewhere. Just like we see these tracks from this uh, aquatic bird species in the mud next to this little stream right here. What we see in the present informs us of the environment of the past. Cross bedding is an interesting one. Cross bedding forms uh, from sand dunes uh, near shores or dry windy areas. Beaches, but oftentimes deserts, aeolian environments, windy environments. So this is what I see now. <clears throat> so this is sandstone, but I see all these swooping lines, these swooping structures within the sandstone itself that indicates cross bedding. So that's what I see now. But in the past, this must have been sand dunes. Because if I take a sand dune and kind of cut it in half, I see those same structures. That's as sand dunes move around. Sand gets blown around. As it does, it forms these different layers. I won't get into it in this class, but actually the direction these that these uh, little wisps are going can indicate the direction the wind is blowing, so you can actually infer a heck of a lot from cross bedding. And then graded bedding. So graded bedding forms where a large amount of sediment can settle very quickly. 
So material, you know, landslide into a still lake or even a landslide on, on dry land. So graded bedding is when you go from one size sediment to, to a different and then back again. So you see some bigger pieces of sediment and then on top it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. If you take a big pile of material, of dirt and sediment in all different sizes, and you kind of create a landslide and, you, and it kind of all flows downhill. Well, the big stuff is going to settle out first at the bottom, and the lighter stuff, the lighter, smaller sediment will settle on top. So what you know, graded bedding indicates might be some sort of rapid movement of sediment, a landslide uh, above ground, a landslide under the ocean as well, because we can see this. So again, you see bigger pieces, a little bit of smaller sediment, even smaller. So that indicates some rapid movement of material where the heavy stuff settled out first and then the lighter stuff kind of settled on top. Well, my friends, again, they don't, they may not look like much, but they do tell one heck of a good story. So we've been in the igneous rock realm, that's unit six. We've broken down material, weathered it, transported it, eroded it, deposited and lithified it, and now we're into the realm of sedimentary rocks. Next unit, we'll get into metamorphism and metamorphic rocks to complete the rock cycle. It doesn't always, again, I'll say it again, it doesn't always have to go in that order. It can go any which way, but typically when learning this material, we usually go igneous rocks, sedimentary rock, metamorphic rocks. It's got a good, a good flow to it. With that, that brings us to the end. It's been fun. It's, it's, been, it's been my pleasure. Until next time, I'll see you again.